You're listening to the Americana podcast from BBC Radio 4 and the World Service. I'm Catty Kay. I'd like to play you one more personal story, this time from a man who stands pretty much alone in this country as being prepared to talk about his work. I'll let him speak for himself. Mm-hmm. My name is Jerry Gibbons, uh, Bronson Gibbons. That's my middle name. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. My job in Richmond was uh, a captain and lieutenant at the uh, Virginia State Penitentiary on 500 Spring Street, I was approached by uh, a major, I can't reveal his name now, uh, but he asked me would I be interested in joining the execution team. I said, well, yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and try it, you know, just to see what it's all about. And from there on, I executed 62 people in the state of Virginia during my stay of 17 years. I never discussed that with my family members because... I uh, didn't know how they would take that. Uh, and being an executioner, you, you want to keep things secret. I didn't want them to have to wear the burdens that I had to wear, you know. I had to get out of myself and get into the executioner mode. Uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, like I said, I never let anything interfere with this. If I was cutting his hair, I was still praying for him, you know, in my mind, in my heart. They had to make the best of that day that they had. This was the last day that they were going to see their family members. This was the last visit, the last meal, the last telephone call, the last smoke of a cigarette, the last goodbye. It was the last everything. I, I'm currently um, driving truck now. Uh, I enjoy what I do. I, I'm on the road uh, a lot. I'm closer now to God than I've ever been. Uh, I guess because I'm getting a little older and wiser. So you come to realize that uh, it's none of us exempt from doing wrong. And he without sin cast the first stone. Could nobody throw that stone because we all have sin. It's the same thing when it comes down to executions. He without sin be the executioner. Governor Pat Quinn, as you listen to Jerry Gibbons there, I was wondering what goes through your own mind. Well, I think it's interesting. 62 executions that he was uh, present at. It sounds to me like he's got some second thoughts. Um, I think uh, an unreflected life is uh, not doing what God wants you to do on earth. You should always think about important things and think carefully about them. You know, I suppose 100 years from now and People talk about me, they'll say that he was the governor who signed the abolition of the death penalty in Illinois, the land of Lincoln. And I did it in my office, and my office has a portrait of Abraham Lincoln, a very beautiful portrait. He was looking over my shoulder, and I said that if he was here today, 150 years later, in my shoes, I believe Abraham Lincoln would have signed the same legislation to abolish the death penalty that I did. Governor Pat Quinn of Illinois.